The following program is rated TV PG. Some scenes may be too scary for children under seven. We suggest watching together as a family. if we don't find cover soon. But she's still out there, waiting. Maybe she doesn't mean us any harm. After all, she fed us the most glorious meal. Father and stepmother never fed us anything like that. She didn't feed us to be nice. Even though she fed us twice, she's a witch. She caught us for the thrill. In her eyes, we're just roadkill. She prepared us both especially, like a new culinary recipe. Once upon a time, we both had dreams. Now our clothes are bursting at the seams. Oh, the plumper, the rump, the thicker, the skin. She'd have nothing to eat if we were too thin. Backstage, and I totes brain farted. That's the last time, I promise. Yes, I could smell it from here. <laughs> this is a nightmare. We haven't even done a complete run through. I knew we shouldn't have done this play. I warned Miss Brower, tempting fate. Does she listen? No. Carrie, the just turn up the house lights. The then be with it. With every brain cell you can muster. <sighs> Gina, that's the third time you've missed your cue. If you do that tomorrow night, you're gonna make us all look like idiots. We don't need her help for that. She's had three weeks to rehearse. I stepped in three days ago and I'm already flawless. Um, it was my part until I broke my leg. I know the lines. You're paraphrasing. Whatever. It's still better than forgetting when you're supposed to be on stage. Enough! Enough. Gina. Stop stretching your body and start stretching your mind. Mm -hmm. Michelle, be the tree. Everyone, I have notes. Come, come, come. Notes, sir. The audience needs to feel Hansel and Gretel's fear. Jen and Sam, have you guys ever been afraid? Really afraid? For your lives? No? Then act like you have! Imagine you're poor. You're starving. You hear your parents plotting to abandon you. They take you into the woods. Excuse me, Mrs. Brower. You try to outsmart them with a trail of breadcrumbs, but the crumbs, they get eaten by the birds. Tragedy! And just, oh, just when you think you are saved, a witch tries to eat you. Dramatic irony. Rehearsal ends in five minutes. Art never ends, Raylene. Oh, wait, <laughs> I have treats. I wish Miss Brower would just stop with the treats. That carrot cake that she brought the other night was repugnant. I think that it had celery in it and it made me nauseous. It wasn't the celery. It was the curse. Whoa. Like what curse? Don't you guys ever listen to me? I've been talking about this for weeks. Haven't you noticed all the weird things that have been happening? I only did this play because Lainey said she'd break up with me if I didn't. I don't know any weird theater stuff. Lainey getting sick at rehearsal. Nauseous. Gina missing all of her cues. Wait, did I just miss another one? Michelle, falling off the stage and breaking her leg. I was pushed. It's all part of the curse. I'll tell you what's cursed. Jen's singing. She's butchering the melodies. I spent weeks writing songs for this show, and what thanks do I get? 
I'm a tree. A non-singing tree. Tever! Give it a rest, Michelle. Nobody cares. Ouch. People, there is some serious bad mojo surrounding this play. When did drama class get so dramatic? I found a bunch of articles online about cursed productions at five other schools. The play's based on real events, and the witch wreaks havoc on those who try to tell her story. A school in Iowa did it last year, and the dude playing Hansel got beheaded on stage. This doesn't make sense. Why would Miss Brower do a play that's cursed? She says it's just superstition. Because it is. There's no such thing as curses. You actually think a witch is gonna mess with our show? Yeah. I mean, bring it on. <laughs> Told you. Cursed. Okay. Enough with the curse nonsense. Carrie, just fix the bulb. Cast, hang up your wardrobe. I am not your mother. Whatever you say, Mom. I'm gonna go tell Mrs. B to save her treats for tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. Miss Brower! tradition of saying break a leg, but I think that's morbid, so I say break a cookie. My little darlings. Oh. You look flushed. Where's Raylene? I don't know, but I found her headset by the vending machine and she's not answering her cell phone. Calm down. Have a cookie. Time, there was a boy named Hansel. And a girl named Gretel. And their parents couldn't afford to feed them anymore. I'm broke. Huh. So they decided to go on a little adventure, a trip in the woods. Every day is a new adventure. You just never know what's in store. Every day could be filled with magic. Unless you are poor, we never have enough to eat Unless we find it in the street We wear the same clothes every day Our minds are drab and always gray We're just too poor, we have no hope What for, what good would it do? Our life has really hit the skids. We have no way to feed the kids. If only our kids were dead. We'd have double our daily bread. But we can't kill our children. No, but we could take them into the forest and lose them. <laughs> huh? You just never know what's in store All the woods might be dark and dreary Fine, we'll confess we're a little leery But one thing we're sure It does not pay to be poor
Children, stay with your stepmother while I get us some firewood. Hansel, I'm frightened. Father's acting awfully strange. You don't think Father's actually going to leave us here? Don't worry, Grandma. I left a trail of breadcrumbs in the forest so we may find our way home again. Hey, who messed with my props? Oh, Hansel, that's the most brilliant. Miss Brower, is that you? I gotta go back on stage with my firewood, but it's not here. Wait, what are you? Ah! What's taking father so long? Get Jesse. I, I said, what's taking father so long? I'm sure you've chopped plenty of wood. Come back now, dear. Yeah. Uh, what, what is he? Is he chopping down the whole forest? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse? I said, what's taking father so long? I'll go look for him. Just stay here and get lost. But that's not how the story goes. <laughs> You're not supposed to leave until he comes back with the wood, and I still have a bunch more breadcrumbs to put out. All right then. She didn't feed us to be nice. Even though she fed us twice, she's a witch. She caught us for the thrill. And her eyes were just roadkill. Why are they singing? She prepared us both especially, like a nouveau culinary recipe. Once upon a time, we both had dreams. That song isn't until the end of the play. Hansel and Gretel haven't even met the witch yet. I'm bursting at the seams. <laughs> This is firewood. Show is a disaster. <laughs> hey, Gretel. I know, I know, it's terrible. But the show must go on. Have a cookie. What's the matter? Can't handle a little improv? Acting 101, lady. Hark! I am just a tree, rooted forlornly in this dark forest. Nobody cares if I'm alone or afraid. I am just a tree, after all. There is no way you're stealing my big scene. this? A trail of breadcrumbs? My stupid stepchildren think they can trick me. How foolish. I'll make sure they never find their way home. <laughs> Maybe they don't need a trail of breadcrumbs. Maybe all they need is one very helpful tree. Don't you dare cross me, tree or I will have my husband take an ax to you. Did I miss my cue yet? Not yet. Oh, good, because I haven't finished my warm-up routine. Dear husband, please come back. <laughs> Looks like he's abandoned you, just like you were going to abandon your poor, starving kids. Hello, irony. <laughs>
just skip ahead of the gingerbread scene and get the trees off stage. Gingerbread house in the middle of the woods. Gina! Gina, we're gonna skip ahead to your entrance. tips on how to act like a real witch. Just watch me. Who do you suppose lives here, Hansel? I don't know, Gretel, but I bet she's as sweet as this gingerbread. I said, I bet she's as sweet as this gingerbread. I can't believe she did this again. Gina! What have we here? A sweet little boy and girl? You're not Gina? I don't know where Gina is. Just pretend I'm the witch. <laughs> Feasting on my house, I see. I'm so not putting the show on my resume. <laughs> Please don't be mad. We were just hungry. Look out! She's the witch! Oh, we got that. Now we're kind of trying to act here. No, I mean she's a real witch. She's tied up Lainey and Jesse and Raylene. She's planning on eating them. Get her! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> go away! What are you doing? Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! I'm afraid that's not how the story goes. Uh, who are you? I'm the star of the show. Are you a witch? I thought Miss Brower was the witch. I'm afraid not, my dearies. Just me. And see. <laughs> long since anyone had the guts to tell my story properly. I couldn't just sit back and watch you amateurs butcher it. So I decided, if you want a witch, I'll give you a witch. Who's ready for my big finish? Please don't eat us! Please, we'll do anything, just, just don't kill us. Then I suggest you sing. After all, the show must go on. What she says is not a lie. She means to eat us by and by. She's a witch. She's holding us by force. And will soon be her main course. We put on a show that's very cursed. And now it's gone from very bad to worse. I, I was, was gonna, gonna be a star. star. Now I'll be tar-tar. <laughs> Please save us now, 
before she eats our cheeks. I can't die now, senior prom is in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you people honestly believe the cliched witch from this play is what real witches are like? No one tells my story properly, which is why I cursed it. I didn't eat Hansel and Gretel. That's not how the story went. I ate their parents. Thank you.